prolonged sedile block on humanitarian aid and vital imports into Yemen could trigger widespread famine and bring millions of people closer to starvation and death, the United Nations and more than 28 organizations warned this week. If the blockade continues, if we run out of supplies, we're talking a matter of weeks, Rasha Mures, program director for Save the Children in Yemen, said before widespread famine and children starving to death. A malnourished child receives treatment at a hospital in the port city of Hodeida on Monday. Abdo Haider AFP Getty Images A Sadild coalition grounded all humanitarian flights and closed all ports into the country after Yemen's Saudi rebels fired a ballistic missile that was intercepted near Riyadh, the Saudi capital, last weekend. Saudi Arabia blamed the strike on Iran, which supports they have this but has denied arming them. The top U.S. Air Force official in the Middle East said Friday that Iran had manufactured the missile. As many as 7 million people in Yemen were already facing famine-like conditions and rely completely on food aid to survive, according to the aid groups. In six weeks, the food supplies to feed them will be exhausted. The aid groups, which include CARE, Save the Children and Islamic Relief, said urging the Sadild coalition to allow humanitarian corridors to reopen. The UN's humanitarian chief also warned this week that unless the coalition lifts its blockade, Yemen will face the largest famine the world has seen for many decades, with millions of victims. Saudi Arabia's warplanes have been leading the bombing campaign against Iran linked how the rebels in the desperately poor country, which is on the front line of a proxy war between Saudi Arabia and Iran. The fighting has killed thousands, and the country is also suffering from the largest cholera outbreak in human history, according to Save the Children. Ten million people were already in acute need in Yemen. And then you stop the food coming, then you stop the fuel coming in and then you stop the medicine coming in, Shane Stevenson, country director for Oxfam in Yemen, said. It's desperate, it's really desperate and it's all man-made. A child suspected of being infected with cholera cries at a hospital in the city of Hodida. Abdo Haider AFP Getty Images While restrictions on commercial cargo imported into Yemen have been in place since 2015 and humanitarian supplies have on occasion also been barred entry, this is the first time imports have been blocked across the country, Mers said. Border closures had already stopped vital medical and nutrition supplies, including essential cholera medication such as IV drips, from reaching Save the Children centers across Yemen, making the aid group's job almost impossible, Mers added. The blockade is especially crippling because 90% of Yemen's food and medicine is imported, as well as much of its fuel and water. It has already triggered a 60% jump in fuel prices and an increase in the price of food, according to Muraz. And the price of water had soared by 400% in some areas, according to Stevenson. In Sana'a, Yemen's capital and its largest city, streets are deserted and the atmosphere is one of uncertainty and desperation, said Muraz. No one knows where the airstrikes will hit next. Long lines have formed outside gas stations and people appear visibly panicked as they hoard fuel, according to several of the people NBC News spoke to. A malnourished child receiving treatment at a hospital in the port city of Hodida. AFP Getty Images file the food situation is similarly desperate as supplies dwindle, aid groups fear the risk of famine is real. The one thing keeping a lot of people from the brink of starvation is humanitarian aid, said Paolo Zernishi, country director for the International Rescue Committee IRC in Yemen. If this aid stops widespread famine will ensue, he warned. Yemen was already the world's worst humanitarian man-made crisis before the blockade started, so there's no resilience, no coping mechanisms, Stevenson from Oxfam said. People don't have anything to rely on anymore. There is concern about when is the breaking point, when is it all going to go to pieces, and drop off the cliff, he added.